Well, first off, I want to tell you that I'm not one to knock conspiracy theories because I know most conspiracy theories are, in fact, facts. You know, you look at the back of our dollar bill with the all-seeing eye and, um, you know, the New World Order in Latin or Novus Orderum, whatever the hell that said again, something to the effects of New World Order in order of the ages or whatever, uh, you know, put on the bill by, I think it was FDR, the guy that was in charge of the uh, Treasury during the time of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Yeah, Freemasonry and all that, but, you know, let me tell you this real quickly, that um, a lot of the Jewish conspiracy theories, the Zionist conspiracy theories and stuff, they're, they're CIA-inspired. Anything you see that's popular on, on the major alternative media, even if they're coming from people that are major alternative media sources, it's BS. Now, as far as, like, the Twin Towers, you know, I knew from day one that the Twin Towers didn't get knocked down by some planes especially build, Building 7. I mean, I have to laugh about it. I mean, what do I want to do? Piss you off, man? Get you all freaking f- f- mad? And, uh, how, much, how, how often can you get mad and fearful about this shit, right? Uh, you know, there was a lot of things involved. But, you know, the thing is, if they could find... You see, with the people that focus in only on Jews, if they could find one Jew that's involved in something that's nefarious... Then they say the whole thing was a Jewish conspiracy theory. If they could find one or two or whatever. And like, in other words, if 95% of the people at least were not Jewish and they were involved in this, like, you know, the Bush family is involved in this, the Saudis were involved in this. And, and I know some people say, oh, do, do Jews control them? Yeah, well, I don't think so, you know. That's, that's, but let me put it to you this way. This, there is a disinformation campaign out there to uh, actually blame the Jews on everything. You know, I was surprised that, well, I wasn't totally surprised. I put out a video one time, and uh, it was about uh, the Rothschilds taking over all the banking system. They got, like, so many banks left. Now, you know, one thing is, I don't think it's totally accurate to say that. I think there's a takeover of the banking system globally. Globally, but I don't know if it's the Rothschilds per se doing it exactly. I think they might be involved in it somehow. I think they're definitely involved in it somehow, but they're not the main driving force. And it's something where actually I put the video out in the in the, in the, in the respect of you know you know hemp can save the world. Hemp, hemp can be fuel. Hemp can be you know whatever. And I noticed a lot of patriotism out there. Patriotism, nationalism, like the bikini over here. Wave the flag, fight the new world order, and all that kind of stuff. And I guess that's one way to do it, because when you stick with the United States and what it was founded upon with the Bill of Rights, we got laws that are protecting our our innate God-given rights from the government itself and the new world order. So patriotism in our country is a good thing. And But, you know, the thing is, it's not like the whole answer. It's like you got to realize that you're being scammed. And pretty much any time there's like a common consensus on the alternative media that something's a certain way, you know, like the protocols of the elders of Zion, I don't know if it's accurate or not. You know, say somebody wrote that shit, you know, fine. I mean, but, you know, there's got so many things out there. Like, I don't, you know, like, I mean, there's theories out there we never went to the moon. They said we, we staged this in Arizona. I mean, yeah, right. Okay, fine. You know, I mean, you know how many people track that freaking thing going up in the air with radar and shit like that, for crying out loud, you know? Um, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like somebody's, that's, that's what they do. It's like they get outlandish freaking conspiracy theories out there to throw you off track. So, like, the ones that are accurate, people won't look at. That's why a lot of times they say, you know, even though you got some good information about some other things that could be pretty wild, you know, you might want to stick with the simplest stuff because you, you want to convince the most amount of people and give them some simple, accurate stuff that anybody can grasp. But, you know, like stuff like this, when you're talking about, you know, it's, it goes along with the same thing when you're talking about the, uh, you know, we didn't have people go on the moon or, you know, you got these flat earth people. They got people on the Internet now saying the earth is flat. I'm like, yeah, right, right, sure, go ahead, go for it, yo-yos. But, you know, that's disinformation. But that's like the same type of thing where you're going along saying that the Jews are controlling everything in the world. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Like that brother Nathaniel, I'll mention him, man. That guy is all one way against Jews. But I, I don't think he's just kind of working by himself. I think he's, you know, I don't know. You know, I, I suspect Rents, to tell you the truth, Jeff Rents. Ben Fulford, I definitely suspect. I think he's got Jewish roots or something like that. But I don't know what the hell our CIA roots. Maybe that's more accurate to say. 
but you know that's the big key CIA roots he's a disinformation guy um, and you see that's one of the problems I got with um, you know the guys that are like running the alternative media because most of the big ones are disinformation guys they really are I'm not a big one okay I'm one of the smaller people but I'm telling you right now um, and, I, and sometimes I wonder why things take off that I put out that I don't think are the best stuff like um, you know, with the with the Rothschilds taking over the freaking globe, you know. I mean, yeah, they're powerful and that kind of shit. Fine, and you know, I might have some Jewish lineage, but I got to find out from DNA. I'm gonna find. I'm finding out. I'm actually in the process. I don't know if I am or I am or aunt. I I am or not. I don't know. You know, another thing is, tell a lot of times. Um, and you know, this has nothing to do with Jews, but this has has something to do with our country. You know, one of the biggest disinformation campaigns we got in our country is about this great emancipator guy. This is one thing I've been putting out a lot of stuff on the Confederacy. I know the Confederacy wasn't, like, flawless and all that kind of shit. But, you know, the fact that, the, you know, the USA today is, like, saying, yeah, they were the evil force of slavery. Oh, bullshit. New York City was always tied into slavery. And, actually, a lot of people that were tied into money, banking system, whether it's the shipping system, um, production of textiles or manufacturing or, you know, finance or whatever, uh, even all a lot of people in the North were all tied into slavery. But you know how that information goes? Well, you know what? Everybody was tied into it. I mean, Jews and Gentiles, okay? Everybody. Everybody was tied into it. But, you know, if you find a few Jews that were tied into it, then it's a big, everybody, all the Jews did it. Uh. But, you know, I'm going to tell you right now, I think there's sometimes, I think there are a few bad Jews, but you know what happens? They're setting up the other Jews. In other words, um, you know, and it's not the Zionist, because every Jew ought to be a Zionist. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you're Jewish, you should be a Zionist. You know what Zionist means? You support Israel. That's your homeland. That's your country. Yeah, if the USA is your country, too, and you're a citizen of the USA, or you're a citizen of Britain, France, Italy, whatever that is, Spain, Russia, fine, you're a citizen of those countries. But every Jew should be a Zionist. You know, you support your, your country, too, Israel. That's part of your identity, you know? It's sort of like you know, if you want to, you know, if you want to think bad of that, well, think bad of, um, you know, you could think bad of like what a Cherokee Indian saying, "I support my heritage and I support my home, my ancestral homelands." What the hell's wrong with that? Nothing, right? But you know, one of the deals what we had, one of the biggest turning points in our country, where it went down the wrong path, wasn't really from Jews. It was from this guy right here, Abe Lincoln. This guy actually, by you know, forcing a union on everybody. Basically, he was killing states' rights and also killing individual rights, and he led the country down a path whereby we had one big uh, forced family, whereby the main focus was to go destroy all the Native American peoples in the West. They were the Plains Indians, right? That's really what happened with this guy. He suspended habeas corpus, installed martial law, you know, freaking locked up freaking uh, legislators that were going to vote to uh, secede from the Union, like in a Maryland. You know, I mean, was he Jewish? Hell no. Okay, you know, this guy was evil. But, you know, one of the things that propagates the freaking system that we got today where it's like total, uh, uh, you know, capitalism whereby it's run by, you know, oligarchs in New York City and Washington, D.C. and their Washington, D.C. puppets is portraying history in a certain way. Now, one of the things I'm telling you is with the alternative media, they go down a rabbit hole a lot. Like, I know a lot of these conspiracy theories are accurate as shit. As a matter of fact, if you want to see all the false flags we had in this country, not only mass shootings, but also, you know, the Oklahoma City bombing and stuff. I know from General Brigadier Parton that wasn't the guy McVeigh did and all that kind of crap. And what happened with Randy Weaver, Weaver what have actually happened at Waco, all that kind of garbage. Way before, you know, all the stuff that's happening today with Black Lives Matter and George Soros. And George Soros is not Jewish, okay? But uh, he's he's an anti-Semite Nazi collaborator to the max. You know, nobody's... I, I don't even see how they freaking people call that guy Jewish, man. He's not Jewish. Um, I would almost be Jewish. I don't know about that. But, you know, my thing is where I, I don't could be Jewish is because I believe in Fatima. And, you know, the appearance of Mary and all that. You know, 100 years from, from the appearance of Mary, Fatima, October 13th, 1917... Uh, well, it's going to be a 100-year anniversary coming up. I don't know. Maybe we're going to see some wild changes in the world here. I don't know. Uh, we'll probably see the Russians coming after us or some shit. But, you know, the thing is, I'm saying is that practically all the alternative media that's big is are a bunch of disinformation agents. They really are. And they directly or indirectly 
push the buttons about, yeah, it's the Jews' fault. Jews have never freaking controlled the war world. They, you know, there have been times when the Jews have been strong, but they never really ruled the world. Never, never, never did. And that's the way it is today. But um, I, I smell, you know, I'm pretty damn sure, sure it is. The CIA is actually one of the biggest disinformation agents out there that is pushing this Jew, anti-Jewish conspiracy theory. Now, if you work for the CIA and you're like, you know, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're high for saying that. Well, you work for the CIA. I'm talking about the master planners on the top. Because pretty much all these guys that are alternative media, they are CIA connected. They're connected to the intelligence services in the United States. And, you know, actually, Alex Jones is, too. Alex Jones, I think he is. I think he is. You know, I noticed a lot of times, not a lot of times, but there's been times he's had guests on his show, and they wound up being dead. Or he were talked in, they called in or something like that, and they wound up being dead several weeks later because of the stuff they said. But nothing ever happens to him, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, that works, right? So anyway. Just want to say a short video on this because I know, and you know, I don't, I don't want to see Jews walk on water like they're freaking perfect, you know. I don't, I'm not like that, but it's like the popular theme on YouTube, social media, and all that kind of garbage is actually, well, I'm pretty damn dead certain of this. It's being pushed by the New World Order that Jews are behind the New World Order. Eh, eh. No, no. It's like there's it's, you know, there's people that are of good wealth that are Jewish, yeah, but it's not like they're not behind it, what's going on. Now, if you find somebody that's Jewish in the, the cabal that's the New World Order, aha, uh -huh, she, we got her proof. But, you know, if you look in North, see, like Brother Nathaniel, like he'll constantly bring out all this stuff about Jewish people all the time, left and right. And I'm like, yo, this guy's freaking, I don't know what his agenda is, but, you know, nothing about what's going on in other countries that are like, um, you know, and I don't even want to say too much with Russia because Putin is like, well, I think Putin's part of the New World Order. He's playing another scam there, too, because he's playing like the good guy and our guys are being the bad guys now and he's supposed to run to his system. And that's been that's been in the works a long time. Um, he's not saying nothing about, you know, the Leo guy prisons in, in uh, China. He's not saying nothing about that yo-yo that runs North Korea. He's not saying nothing even about the Yakuza in Japan or nothing. He's not saying nothing about the drug lords down in South Central America and Mexico. Nah, he's not saying nothing. Oh, it's just the Jewish people doing everything. Uh, get the hell out of here, brother Nathaniel. You know, he's got an agenda and a half, man. But, you know, he's got a number of people listening with shit, right? So what the hell? Why? How are these people surviving just freaking telling people that, Everything's a big Jewish conspiracy theory. Why? Because they get the advertising to say that. Now, you know, me, I'm saying the opposite, right? I'm telling you that, yeah, you know, it's it's basically, it kind of represents all races and ethnicities that are going for this global power. No, but every, you know, it's it's like the old freaking song, you know, everybody wants to rule the world, you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, actually, you could freaking say anybody does. You know, the, the Irish might even want to rule the world sometimes. Some of them might. <laughs> I don't know. You when they're in a pub and you're drinking, they're saying, yeah, we want to rule the world. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Britain does again. You know, the sun's never set on the British Empire. Maybe they got ambitions to do that again. But, uh, you know, it's like every there's always somebody that, but, you know, it's like like-minded people that are very ambitious get together. And they're coming from all different walks of life. I can tell you right now, I mean, I've seen in business where people that were Jewish and uh, Islamic or Muslim getting along fine because at the top, they don't give a shit about nothing except money. I mean, I've seen that, you know. It's like, they ain't looking at it. They just give a shit about how much they're going to get. But that's not, you know what I mean? That's not the religion. It's not even about the way of life. It's not anything. You know, it's, but you know, the CIA is actually, see, what I think where most of the problem is coming from is actually the military. I'm going to cut you right down to it. I guess I should have got to that in the first place. The military types are the most cold blooded, freaking, you know, the military types that have actually been around, been assassins, been doing political assassinations, you know, through, uh, you know, their snipers and stuff, mercenaries. Um, they got no problem with freaking, you know, human life. It's just like a freaking carcass, you know? A guy that's like Jewish that's in business, he ain't gonna think like that. He's just thinking about 
He might be thinking about how much more money he can get. But, you know, a lot of Jews aren't necessarily the ones that are like, you know, the psychotic freaking assassins that are in our military. And they get up through the ranks and they get up into certain areas and they go into CIA or they go into FBI or whatever the hell it is. And, you know, those are the ones you really got to watch for. You're not going to find a Jewish businessman thinking like that. They might want more money, but they ain't like, I don't, you know, they don't want to like destroy the world and all this kind of shit and depopulate the world. They want to make money and every, everybody else make, have fun and feel good. That's usually, the, that's usually the consensus of the Jewish businessman. I'm telling you right now. I just get along with those guys, okay. Because, you know, they keep the wheels, at, uh, they're like the grease that keeps the wheels turning in the American economy. Jewish businessmen, I, just, I got a lot of respect for them, actually. You know, they're not this Illuminati bullshit you freaking think of all the time. They're like the grease that keeps everything rolling, you know. They're the USA sinews and muscles and blood. Because it's always like, you know, I got a, it's like, you know, they got a nose out there looking for some guy that's going to produce something for less that's better. And they'll try to find that guy and... They'll try to get that product out to more people, and they'll be maybe they'll be the middleman. They'll make a little bit of money on it, right? And a little markup. But they facilitate trade. I like a lot of Jews, man. They do a good job in business in the United States. Without them, we'd be screwed. I'm telling you that right now. They do a lot of good shit. Believe it or not. You guys won't believe me? Fine. But I, that's why I always like working for them really hard. Now, the thing is, um, you know, with this New World Order shit, you know, they're always playing it like, yeah, the Jews are behind the New World Order. That alternative, anytime you see an alternative media clown saying that constantly, they're full of shit, all the way. They're full of it. And pretty much all the major alternative media out there is full of it. You know, you're not, I don't know if you're going to like this or not, me telling you this, but that's just how it is. That's really just how it is. And, you know, the one thing is, um, our way of life in the United States with the Bill of Rights that protects us from governmental excesses, is the one reason, well, that's why a lot of Jews are very pro-USA, because um, it allowed Jews not to be freaking persecuted in this country, but they're starting to be again. It's starting to be. You know, who the hell knows? Like, freaking United Nations comes in this damn country, and, you know, what the hell, they got a law or some crap that you, thou shalt not insult the Prophet Muhammad and Allah, and it's be punishable by death. I'm like, holy shit. They ain't going to mix very well with Judaism. None at all. Um, I welcome Jews. I don't welcome a lot of other sh people over here, man. To tell you the truth, you know. And this guy here, Abe Lincoln, he's been one of the, he's one of the key points whereby, you know, our nation actually took a wrong turn. The great emancipator was actually the great dictator. You know, he didn't he didn't give a damn about blacks or nothing like that. I mean, that's that's another way freaking everybody's being lied to in this country. Um, and I know the Confederacy wasn't a bunch of freaking saints, but by and large, they're probably a hell of a lot better than the New York money lion bastards. And actually, New York money lion bastards pretty much controlled all the economics that went on down south. But you know, the rain freaking disinformation. See, everything is disinformation. That's what it is. They twist history around. Um, you know. And to tell you the truth, like, it's like, I don't think anything else, like, you know, when I think of, like, a people like, um, you know, a lot of Native Americans, Native Americans, like, you know, you heard, how many have heard of the, the Nest Purse in, uh, from the Northwest United States? Very few of them around, right? Because most of them got slaughtered by the whites unfairly. And actually, those people, now, I know there's different tribes, like the Comanches were pretty damn warlike and shit. You couldn't freaking deal with them, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's like you kill them or they kill you. But, you know, other peoples weren't like that. But it's like, you know, anybody that wants to um, have, you know, lineage to their, or, you know, it's adhere to their heritage and be dedicated to that doesn't mean you're an enemy of the United States. It just means that's what you want to do. You got the freedom to do that. And that's what Jews do. Jews have a heritage. They have a long, they're the oldest people in this world that have been continuous. I mean, yeah, maybe not perfectly continuous, because I know there's converts along the way. I know that. But, uh, you know, it's like they're just doing their own thing, man. So no problem. That's the way I look at it. But, you know, the fact that everybody's blaming them in the conspiracy land or the alternative media for all the New World Order and all the world's ills, I'm going to tell you right now, that's a CIA disinformation campaign. It isn't just idiots doing this stuff. Because information is being planted by the major alternative media. A lot of stuff is bullshit. Like the 
you know, you're going to get mad at me, but the protocols of Elder Zion is bullshit. And, you know, even some yo-yo wrote that. That's not like, not everybody's on that freaking program, you know what I mean? That's the other thing. That's the other thing. And, you know, it's like you can maybe prove there's a few elitist Jews out there that got a lot of ambition, right? But, but that doesn't mean, every, you know, I could tell you that there's a lot of freaking, there's Irish out there, there's Mexicans, there's Italians, there's English, there's Germans, Russians, Scandinavians, uh, Ethiopians, Japanese. There's a lot of people out there with ambitions that want to freaking take over the whole damn world. I mean, you can only, you know what happens, you, you hit your limit and that's it, right? You hit your limit and you can only go so far. Um, and, you know, they might have, there might be ambitions to do this, but doesn't mean you're going to be able to do it because everybody who's trying, that's of that type, wants to be doing the same thing. But I, I, I am almost 110% sure because if you look at all these alternative media people that are really pushing the Jewish conspiracy theories, they seem to have connections to CIA, like Ben Fulford one of them <laughs> you know but well, what does he tell you yeah it's the uh Dashkenazism, people doing it or some shit whatever actually i'm gonna find out if i'm part jewish i don't know if i am you know i should be but you know it's like i ain't sure i gotta find out from it I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of finding out from a dna test so they'll tell me for sure what the hell's going on if i'm not i'm not you know i don't know what the hell i am i'll find out whatever the hell it is I'm kind of curious because some of these stories have been here way back when. Are they true? Are they not true? Um, you know, somebody could have pulled a story that was wrong five generations ago or three generations ago, and then it started from there. You know, I don't know. DNA will test will tell me a lot more. So, uh, But I do know that I think a lot of Jews do a lot of good stuff in the United States. They facilitate trade um, to keep things going. They do. A lot of Jewish businessmen, you know where they make money? Because they're not lazy. And I can tell you one thing. You ever try to learn that religion? It's easier to get a two eight two P PhDs than to try to learn how to be a Jew. I mean a real Jew. You know, really learn your stuff. That religion's complicated. It's a complicated religion. It's not easy. It's not like you walk in a church someplace and they'll say, Hey, uh, did you find Jesus? Yeah, I found him. Yeah, I was walking down the street and uh, he just came to me in a vision. I just felt it. Oh, okay, brother, you're in. You know, that's what <laughs> goes on in some places. That ain't too hard. Um, but, you know, if you're a Jew and you actually studied all that stuff that you got to learn, like the whole nine yards, uh, you're smart. You're smart. That's why they're in the professional fields. But, um, yeah, I mean, they make, they make money because they work. That's what the hell the deal is. I know sometimes people get envious of that. But they make money because they work. Now, me, I work a lot, too, you know. I mean, if they freaking, uh, I should say this on here. But, you know, I know, like, the ad block on YouTube has been killing the shit out of revenue on YouTube. You know, the ad block bullshit. But, you know, if if I was, you know, I know, like, I'm doing right now probably, I don't know, freaking umpteen times what I was a few years ago. So, I mean, I do a lot of work, you know. But I like doing this shit, though. That's the thing. I don't really necessarily do it for money. I do it because... I want to straighten things out because I realized that, you know, on one side we got the major media, they're a load of shit, they're total garbage, and then on the other side we got the alternative media financed by the money in the CIA, they're garbage too. So people like me are the only ones around, and no, I'm not the only one, but there's loads of people like me, are the only ones around trying to get their stuff out there that's legit. And I, I don't try to scare anybody and freaking, uh, you know what I mean? And we're gonna have some other diff we're gonna have another video up here pretty soon. Uh it's something else. We'll do something different. Anyway, over and out, just remember that, you know, I mean, you can get mad at some Jewish people if you want, fine. You can get mad at, you know, Irish people or even a American Indian or something, or a black person or Mexican or or a Caucasian English guy or something. It's up it's your prerogative, you know. I mean if you if that person pisses you off, fine. But you know, don't go with thinking that you know, the conspiracy, I think, is really coming from um, the U.S. military and intelligence agencies at the very top. They're the only ones with the guy, that, that diabolical brain that, you know, don't give a rat's ass about the human race and they can play freaking... And, you know, they got to deflect attention from themselves. So they're deflecting it on Jewish people. 
And uh, if you're Jewish and you listen to this, get yourself a damn gun and go join the NRA and the Gun Owners of America, and especially Jews for the Preservation of Firearms Ownership, and go buy their books because I'll tell you what, you'll see why Jews should really be well armed. The Nazi Weapons Law of March 1938 was enshrined in our Gun Control Act of 1968. And the only way Jews had a genocide that it was possible was first they had to be disarmed. That's, they, they did their research on it. It's rabbinical research. Jews for the preservation of firearms ownership. I've been active in them since, like, I don't know, the, the 90s. <laughs> I think there's, not, there's not that many members. I'm a, I'm a goyim, you know. I think it's like 15,000 members in an organization, not too many. And if you're Jew, you're watching this, go ahead and uh, join that organization. Actually, if you join one gun place, join them. They need help. You know, there's loads of people in NRA. I think it's like 5 million, but they're not bad, though. They're not bad, though. Gun of America. Because, uh, you know, it might be coming down to Masada again. And this time, uh, you know, I want you guys, me, too. They'll all be well-armed so we can go fight the bastards in the New World Order if we can play in a game. And I don't want people that are the general public thinking the Jews are behind us and going after all the Jews. That's bullshit. It's bullshit. I got a pretty good handle of what's going on. I mean, like I said, no group of people. Not everybody's perfect. You can get mad at you, If you get mad at a Jewish person, fine. You get mad at a Jewish person. Just don't think there's some big, vast freaking conspiracy out there. You can get mad at Soros. I mean, that's fine by me. I don't consider him Jewish. I think he's an anti-Semite. But anyway, over now, that's my update. You know, I probably went too long on this shit as I usually do. But uh, just keep things, uh, you know, balanced, you know, where you're not going to be. I'm telling you right now, there's a freaking big damn disinformation campaign out there by our alphabet agencies to freaking blame the New World Order on the Jews. And they're working through the major big names in alternative media. And I named them in other things, and I didn't name all of them. I don't want to keep renaming them, because every time YouTube goes, we got to freaking review your video because it might not be advertiser-friendly and shit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do that shit left and right, but actually I'm not. <laughs> but actually, I'm telling you the truth, man. I'm actually, you know, I'm giving you a real, um, you know, honest to goodness, balanced viewpoint here. Everybody wants to rule the world. You're gonna have certain people in whatever group there is trying to rule rule the world. You could, you know, so I mean, cherry pick what you want, and you can prove anything, right? It's kind of what it comes down to.